Yo guys, today I'm going to shoot a video <coughs> So, today I'm gonna shoot a video about how to stay motivated for a long run and I'm gonna give you four steps on how to make your motivation feed itself. So let's just give an example. Um, you decide, you watch the video, some fitness video about how to lose fat and you are really, you feel really motivated at that second, you are feeling really motivated to, to do that, to wake up every single day, early morning, go to the gym, lose the fat and be sexy, glamorous, gorgeous, whatever it is. Um, but it's not going to work, you know that. You watch the video to go to the gym once, twice, that is day three, and then at day four you are tired, <clears throat> you uh, hurt everything, you don't feel like going, it's raining outside, you have a headache, anyways, you just want to eat a little chocolate, etc, uh, etc, et and you fail. So why happens? Usually it happens because people, uh, when people make the decision whether they want to do that thing or not, they make the, make, they make the decision based on, uh, based on only the upsides, only that video, only that piece of information that is, that is a highlight. Um, when you have those videos or read about those things, uh, so those success stories, you only see the highlights. So what I, what I usually do before I jump into something, I sit down and take my time to find the drawbacks. What are the drawbacks? Let's give you an example. So if we are talking about bodybuilding or fitness in general, um, before you start it, you need to understand that it's going to be a hell of a lot of work. Um, you need to go every single day, you need to sacrifice time, you need to sacrifice one and a half, two hours every day. You need to, you, you need to, need, need, you need to say no for so many things. Um, you need to say no for the food, you, sometimes you need to say no for alcohol, for bodies, etc. And these are just the tiny things that uh, later on, if you are just stick around, you can have injuries, etc, etc. So what can you do in order to keep your motivation longer? Um, the first one is you have, to, you have to understand these drawbacks before you jump into it. And if you understand these drawbacks, the first time when you feel like you are giving in, you don't feel like doing it. So when you make your decision, you are really motivated. So it's easy to underestimate the drawbacks. But you make your decision, you put down the first dot, the first line, and you say, I'm going to do that. The first time when you feel like you're not motivated, when you don't feel like doing it, you just have to remember that you, you were the one in the past that said that even though there are these drawbacks, there are these things over here, I'm still going to make that. And now I'm just facing the first drawback. You, you, you cannot give up the first drawback. It's just, it's just hilarious how many people out there trying out things all the time and they just give up at the first obstacle. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to be that one. Step number two, you need to practice it for at least 90 days. So guys, you need to understand in order to develop a new habit, uh, you need to take your time. Step number three, keep yourself accountable. Do whatever it takes. Uh, post your journey to social media. That's the best one. Guys, you can just post your journey to social media. Um, or, you know, do whatever it takes, um, keep notes around, ask dad and mom to just force you to do that. And the reason is that, and this is going to be step number four, is that the results, the great part, is only coming um, at the end of the journey. So when you, when you start a new habit, um, let's pick an example, let's be meditation. So when you decide that you are going to pick up meditation, um, first it's going to be just struggle. You are going to feel like you are wasting time, uh, you are an idiot, um, it doesn't make any sense, it's not working to you, uh, you should be doing something else. Uh, so it's just going to feel bad, isn't it? It's just going to. Um, in the first, and you, you, are, you might be able to do that for a day, two, three days, I don't know, but eventually you're going to give in. You get a rush of motivation from videos, books, people that inspire you. Whenever you face an obstacle, you keep, you keep yourself accountable, you keep doing it. And after a while, and you see the results, you wait a little bit, and then you can evaluate whether it's worth it or not. But you cannot really give in at the first obstacle. That's just ridiculous, that's just hilarious how many people out there giving up before they actually see any kind of result. So, so do not waste your time. At the beginning, it's okay to say no. Let's say you would consider waking up, waking up early in the morning, you watch some videos of the benefits of waking up early, and then 
you need to search information on the drawbacks, ask some friend like whether it's just working for them, not what could be the, the, the drawbacks, uh, do you need to, you cannot party, when you're waking up 5 in the morning you have to say no for the parties, you cannot go out party otherwise, otherwise you would just be like a clown, you wouldn't be able to wake up or you would just crush mentally. So understand that these are like these understand that what are you getting yourself into and at at the first point it's okay to say no if you say no you can just understand that it's not something for you you don't even you don't even really try it but it's all right you can find something else that you actually want to do because guess what if you understand the drawbacks and you feel like you don't want to do that that's probably something you shouldn't do you would, you would give up anyways in the first few days, so that's how it works. Find something you are really uh, inspired to do or motivated to do and do that. 